What does the dance mean to the dancers? How do we measure the beliefs that set those feet in motion? What we believe about our past shapes our view of who we are as human beings and how we are capable of living. We can dream of a culture of harmony and peace in balance with nature, but has there ever been one? Archaeologist Maria Gimbut has said, yes. She told a new origin story, that at the very beginning of Western civilization lay cultures that were long-lasting and peaceful. Maria Gimbutas was born in Lithuania, a land tucked away in northeast Europe, where remnants of an ancient world still linger. Passed down through families, like these potters, whose art reflects the myths and songs that left an abiding impression on Maria. She was forced to flee the Soviet occupation of her homeland during World War II. Refugees throughout the war, Maria Gimbutas and her family immigrated to the United States, where she became a world-renowned archaeologist whose scientific theories have sparked a great debate. Her theories are deep and complex. But simply put, they paint a new picture of the earliest layer of Western cultures. Long before written history began in Sumer and Egypt, settlements in the forest clearings and riverbanks of southeast Europe achieved a high level of culture and art. 8,000 years ago in the Neolithic or New Stone Age, agriculture, pottery, weaving, and herding were already being practiced. The first farming communities where women and men lived showed no evidence of organized warfare. They left behind thousands of artifacts, a rich legacy of paintings, pottery sculptures and figurines, all connected to goddesses and gods who are at the center of a rich religious life. The primordial deity for our ancestors was female, Maria wrote, a self-generating goddess, giver of life, wielder of death and regeneratrix. She was the unity of all life in nature. Her power was in water and stone, in tomb and cave, in animals and birds, snakes and fish, hill, trees and flowers. She was there for millennia and she was always sacred because what our forefathers understood was sacred earth. So living earth, mother earth figure is everywhere in European folklore to this day and she is the metaphor of, of living earth, nothing else. I saw with my own eyes in these rather primitive corners of Lithuania when not only women but also men were kissing earth in the morning. 
Also, the belief that Mother Earth is a lawgiver. You cannot deceive Earth. You must respect Earth, especially in the spring when, when she is pregnant. You cannot beat her. That was alive. Maria traced a continuity of sacred earth symbols going back to the earliest human art. The old stone age with their vibrant images of animals and female forms. The Paleolithic goddess was the creatrix. Her body parts like breasts, belly, buttocks, vulva, are the procreative parts of the body. And this shows that she is the creatrix. So I can speak in detail about the functions of the goddess, about the existence even not of one great goddess or great mother goddess, but about many types of goddesses. These images are not portraits. They're not personified portraits. They're amalgams of animals and birds with female form. They have all these attributes that open your imagination. She opened up the, diverse, the diversity of the Neolithic religious imagery. It's our language from 10,000 years ago, you know. This is, this is how we understood the world. This is how we spoke about, about life. And if you don't like the term goddess because it comes out of classical Greek culture as a term or whatever, that's okay. But what this represents as part of our spiritual tradition of who we are is probably as old as human evolution. In every culture, the symbolism and the metaphors and the myths that they create are their way of um, interacting with the great mythic drama that we all live in, which is the unfolding of the universe, the earth turning around the sun, the seasons changing, uh, the elements rising, the tides, the rhythms of the moon. How shall we connect with this? How shall we create our cultural story? But she knew that um